Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be a pretty technical video. Uh, basically, it's about the story how I burned a ton of money trying to make lithium iron batteries work on micros and uh, basically failed. So I'm I'm going to ditch this idea because it just isn't worthwhile pursuing. So let me just walk you through the whole process that led me to this conclusion. Now it all started with me just soldering up two Sony VTC 5A cells, which gave me a 2600 milliamp hour 2S battery pack, which is a lot of battery for a micro. So I was assuming this could fly for a very, very long time. Now, one thing I realized is that the cutoff voltage of these lithium iron cells is way lower. I mean, on a lithium polymer, you would stop at around 3.4 volts. On these, you have to go down to two volts to really use up all the capacity of your pack, which means if you have a 2S, you have to go down to 4 volts, which is a very low voltage to run any quad on, especially a 4-inch or a 3-inch also for that matter. Now, I couldn't just build a 3 or 4S to deal with this problem because that would be too heavy because there aren't any smaller cells that sustain enough amps. So I was stuck with 2S and I thought, okay, I have to make this work. I could get just amazing flight times by making this battery work with a four inch long range micro. Now, I thought, okay, let's let's just uh, try to have a setup that can cope with this low voltage. Now, what I actually started with was a setup that wasn't designed for lithium ion. That was where the first testing on this was more of a high performance setup with crazy specs. So I had a uh, Cadex Tars years in there, 4K camera, 800 milliwatt VTX, uh, 16 by 16 stack, and Crossfire is a pretty crazy spec for a micro. This is actually the, the frame in its entirety. And this is the, the leftovers of my first setup. I just did one mistake. I used a 1303 motor. This is the, the kebab motor that is actually designed for free inch. And that wasn't a very good idea. It was a bad idea, to be honest. Uh, it, it works okay-ish on the 3.8 inch props from King Kong. But my goal was actually to use this. HQT 4x2.5 4 inch props and it's just horrible on these motors. Really wobbly, no control at all. Not not good, so let's take this away. <laughs> so the next thing I built was actually a very specific setup that was specifically for lithium iron. Now I, I basically tried to build a 1.5S 4 inch setup, which is uh, pretty insane, but I just went for it. Now this is an HAK RC 122S stack which has uh, 10 amps, it's a 10 amp ESC rating and I think up to 15 bursts, so really enough actually on paper. Um, just hook this up with Ishi Nano VTX, XM Plus, uh, Nano 2, one cam Nano 2. So pretty basic stuff. It was just, the point was just to make this ESC motor combo work and the motors I used are also pretty interesting. These are 1402 Brother Hobby, uh, pretty an ancient motors, but High KV, 14 or 2, also quite interesting size. So 8,100 KV, and I just put this all together and tried to make it work on this lithium ion, and it sort of worked for 13 minutes. I actually managed to go down to 4.5 volts, so used up pretty much all the capacity the pack had without too much issues, but um, 13 minutes isn't very impressive. So that for the for the size of this battery, 13 minutes wasn't very impressive. So it didn't seem to be horribly efficient. And I got other problems. I had motor desyncs all the time. Motor desyncs means the quad just falls out of the air because the, the motor stops for a brief second. Um, I couldn't get rid of these. As soon as I was flying too slow for too long, the quad was, would just basically uh, crash, shut down completely. So it was kind of annoying. Also, it didn't seem to be as efficient as I hoped for. So back back to the pile of burnt money. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not that bad. I'll re reuse most of this stuff, so don't worry. And also, if you click on my affiliate links, it will make it possible for me to get more of this stuff and build more crazy setups. But uh, yeah, the next, next setup I tried was, okay, I already knew that 1404 works very, very well on these 4-inch because I tried it on another setup, this secret setup here, the secret sauce in the background. These are 1404s. So I knew 1404 is a good stator size for this prop. And I had some 6,000 kV DYS 1404s left. So I hoped, okay, maybe this works better because 6,000 kV is actually also pretty high for 4-inch. So I threw these on. I used a Mamba 16x16 16 16 stack this time. 
I'm hoping that this one wouldn't overheat and uh, have these things. And the camera I used this time, I tried to fit HD in there. So this is a Runcam Split Nano 3, which in contrast to the Tarsier, works on only 5 volts. The Tarsier needs 7 volts, this one works on 5 volts, so this one can actually go down more in terms of voltage. Ishii Nano VTX again, which works pretty well on this. So I went out to fly this yesterday and I, <laughs> I got insane flight times, really crazy. 17 minutes on roughly half the capacity of this lithium ion pack. 17 minutes on half the pack in really windy conditions. It was basically a storm. The quad had to expend a lot of energy just to stabilize. So if it if it wouldn't have been so windy, I would probably have gotten above 20 minutes while only using half the capacity of this pack. So really crazy, or roughly half the capacity. And now the problem is I could only use half the capacity again because at 6.5 or around six volts, my electronics started to break down again. I didn't have any power left. I had to land the quad and then the Mamba stack just wouldn't rearm. So again, lots of trouble is here. And uh, now I think it would be possible to make this work, but as you see, it was a lot of trouble. And what now really led me to put this on the pile of, pile of shame is that GMB apparently released an 1100, and I'll, I'll show this to you now here, insert this in the video, uh, an 1100 milliamp hour free S pack that is only 66 grams. So if you do some basic math, roughly, that's pretty much the same energy density in terms of what hours per gram that I got out of the lithium ion pack here. So pretty good. And also not super heavy, will not impact the flight characteristics too much. So really thanks a lot to the guy that tipped me off on this pack. Um, I don't remember if it was a YouTube or Instagram comment. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just can't give you the credits because I don't remember where it was and I couldn't find your username again. I just uh, put it in the video description if I find it. But someone tipped me off that there is this GNB pack. And this will probably work much better because free s will just have more power, more control. The quad will be lighter and react better. Probably the flight times won't be that insane because 1100, of course, is less than 2600. But 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 I think this is just way more reasonable. And I kind of went off track with these lithium ion experiments, which I mean led to this useless pile of electronics. <laughs> but this is my final conclusion on the lithium ion. So, um, yeah, I think what I do now is really do my, my final setup. I will put a different set of 1404s on this quad because actually, or actually I will put uh, these 1404s on there because I'm testing other motors on, on this version. I put some 1404s on there around 4,000 kV. The four inch props, I'll put the Rush VTX on it because now on 3S I won't have these low voltage problems. So I can run the Tarsier again. I can run the 800 milliwatt VTX. And I think on 1100 milliamp hours 3S I should still get great flight time. So this is the final setup I'll build next. And of this one I will also show some uh, some some nice flight footage <laughs> and all the rest of it. But for now that was the, the kind of technical update on my lithium ion experiments. So I hope you guys found this useful. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.